guys, it's me again. Today I want to talk to you about Christmas in Russia. A fair warning, I do not speak Russian. Um, and this does mention the Soviet Union, which the Soviet Union is the USSR, um, was, I should say, actually, a communist country. It was probably one of the closest things we had to total communism with North Korea. Um, in at least modern times. So getting into that, in the days of the Soviet Union, wow, I can't say it, Soviet Union, Christmas was not celebrated very much. New Year's, New Year was made into the most important time. From the revolution in 1917, Christmas was banned as a religion holiday in 1929 and Christmas trees were banned until 1935 when they turned into New Year trees. If people do want to celebrate Christmas, they had to do it in secret just in their families. So, in case you didn't know, 1917, World yeah, War I, um, I believe just ended or was about to end. Um, so that was the point when the communist started taking over Russia from Tsar Alexander, I believe it was, and getting total control. So that's your Stalin, like all of them, until actually, yeah, 1935 would make a little bit of sense there, and then collapsed in 1991. So after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, people were free to celebrate Chris Christmas again. But it's still a quieter and smaller holiday in Russia after the big New Year celebrations. The New Year is the big time for spending lots of money and eating and drinking lots. Christmas is much more religious and private. New Year is also when Gra Grandfather Frost brings presents to children. He is always accompanied by his granddaughter on, cri on Christmas New Year's Eve. Children hold hands, make a circle around the Christmas tree, and call out for the granddaughter and Grandfather Frost. <coughs> when they appear, the star and other lights on the Christmas tree light up. Grandfather Frost carries a big mag magic staff. The traditional greeting for, for New Year's Eve is also said. Um, is also how to say Merry Christmas. Not even gonna try because once again, I do not speak Russian. So, to you go. Christmas in Russia is normally celebrated on January 7th, but like few Catholics might celebrate it on the 25th of December. The date is different because of the Russian Orthodox Church uses the old Julian calendar for religious celebration days. The Orthodox Church also celebrates Advent, but it has its fixed days starting on November 28th and going to January 6th, so it's 40 days long. I was going to say that sounds like Easter. You take the normal Easter and cut off Pentecost. The official Christmas and new holidays in Russia lasts from December 31st to January 10th. Um, <clears throat> Some people fast on Christmas Eve until the first star has appeared in the sky. People then eat porridge made of wheat or rice served with honey, poppy seeds, fruit, especially berries, and dry fruits like raisins, chopped walnuts, and some, or sometimes even fruit jellies. <coughs> Yuta is sometimes eaten from one common bowl. This implies a unity. In the past, families like to throw a spoonful of sojivu up on the ceiling. If six is sailing, some people thought it might it meant people would have good luck and would have a good harvest. Some Orthodox Christian Russians also don't eat any meat or fish during the Christmas Eve meal feast. Other popular Christmas Eve foods include beetroot soup or vegan potluck. Served with individual vegetable pies, often made with cabbage, potato, or mushroom. 
sauerkraut, that thing. Porridge dishes such as buckwheat with fried onions and fried mushrooms. Salad is often made from vegetables like carrots, mushrooms, or tomatoes. Um, tomatoes, right? <laughs> and also potato or other root vegetable salads. The meal often consists of 12, dish 12 dishes representing the 12 disciples of Jesus. Vuzva, not even going to try. Boil up is often served at the end of the meal. It is sweet drink made from dry fruit and honey boiled in water. It is traditional at the birth of a child, so at Christmas it symbolizes the birth of baby Jesus. Upon the wear meal, prayers might be said and people then go to the midnight church services. They often don't wash the dishes until they get home from church, sometimes until 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. The main meal on Christmas Day is often more of a feast, which is just like roast pork, goose, pierogi, and pomini meat dumplings. Dessert is often things like fruit pies, gingerbread, and honey bread cookies, and fresh and dried fruits and more nuts. There are Russian cookies, um, which are made in shape of sheep, goat, or deer. In some areas, children will go carol singing around the homes of friends and families and wish people a happy new year. They are normally rewarded with cookies, sweets, and money. The people in Western Europe and the USA, the most famous things to the people, sorry, things about Christmas in Russia is the story of Babushka. Babushka means grandmother in Russia. It tells the story of a woman who met the wise men on their way to see Jesus. For most people in Russia have never heard of the story, as it was probably created by an American poet and writer called Edith Matilda Thomas. Yeah, Edith Matilda Thomas in 1907. And there is a story of the Babushka, which I do want to do, but I might save that for a later video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. See ya. Bye.